winter viewers, my name is Austin Interviews and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be turning myself into a White Walker. Alright, so I'm super excited for this look. I mean, Game of Thrones has always been my favorite show of all time. Like, nothing will ever beat it. Maybe Stranger Things. That and Stranger Things are, mm, I don't know, Game of Thrones. They're both great shows, but Game of Thrones really is truly my favorite. Like, the characters, storyline, and everything. So, what better way to include my favorite look than to do a White Walker? So, now I already did the dragon look from Game of Thrones, so now it's time to go extra crazy. Now, I also can't believe that this is our second to last video. I mean, I mean, I can believe it because I haven't slept in like nine years. And speaking of no sleeping, it is currently 8.01, which you guys are probably saying, oh, it's not that bad, like, that's pretty early, whatever. Um, this looks going to take, like, mm, six hours, so by then it will be, like, two in the morning. Then I have to film a look that's going to take maybe, like, four hours, and by then it'll be six. So, and that's when I wake up to go to school. So, that's another big problem, and then I have to edit an entire video for tomorrow, so the time really doesn't add up. So... I'm... Anyway, let's just get started so my soul doesn't leave my body. I am begging you from my soul. Alright, let's get straight into the tutorial. So, first what we're going to do is we're going to glue down my eyebrows. Now, like I say in every video now, you guys don't want to see it, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it and I'll be right back. Alright, those are the eyebrows all done. I also went ahead and just primed with a little bit of Hydro Grip Primer. But now, let's actually get into the look. So this look is insanely intricate. In fact, I think this will be the most detailed look that I have. Now, the one after this, which is going to be the absolute craziest look you've seen, is just way more wild. The two main brushes you're going to need to use today are these extremely thin ones, because we're going to have to go into detail. So, get ready. Grab your brushes, grab your popcorn, grab your candy, grab your candy corn, grab your chislers, grab whatever candy you like, and let's get into it, because this video is going to be a ride. Let's ride. Let's ride. All right, so let's get straight into the video. So we're going gonna to grab your little foundation brush. It doesn't matter what type of brush you use, but I'm going to use this little flat top brush just so that I can get an even base throughout. So now I'm going to go into this big face pink palette, and I'm just going to grab this white shade, and I'm going to apply that over my entire face. All right, so I know that my eyebrows are already white, but before I cover my face to make it all white, I'm actually going to sketch out some things. Now, I'm now I'm going to time lapse this for the reason because it's just going to be easier for you guys to see all the sketches on and then pause the video and then do them instead of me explaining on where to put each and every one because it's just going to get way more confusing. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch it out, come back, show you my face, then cover my face with white. Yeah. That's the sketches for the face all done. So, I'm gonna pause. You can pause the video and, um, Copy them down if you want to. Alright, so now we're going to go in and we're just going to fill in this entire upper eyebrow like bone. Like that. Now I'm just going to take this brush and I'm going to go pretty low into that center and carve it out to fulfill my little like scrunched eye face. So basically what we're doing is we're just bringing out all the highlights in our face, so later we can go in and fill in all those gaps with contour, and it will make us look, like, ghostly and iced, because, you know, White Walker? I don't know. I don't know. So now I'm just going to fill in this nose. Okay, so, Game of Thrones is, like I said in the intro, is, of course, one of my favorite shows of all time. I mean, it is my favorite show. Like, I was thinking about it while I was doing this. It's my favorite show. Like, there's really nothing. 
House of the Dragon just came out, which was the dragon look that I did inspired by that. Go back and watch that video. You can click right here to go watch that. And it's just a great freaking show overall. So I, I instantly knew as soon as I decided to do this whole like Halloween fest or whatever I want to call it, this whole like Halloween saga that I had to do White Walker. And originally my White Walker was my final look until something else came out. And now that's my final look, which is uploading on actual Halloween, October 31st. So make sure to go watch that. I mean, that look is crazy. Now I'm just gonna do a white line down the bridge of my nose, extending it to make my nose look pretty nice and big. Oh, it's big. I like that. Oh my God, that already looks like shishas. Oh, Hocus Pocus 2 is amazing. I finally watch it. I was talking about it in one of my other videos. And like, I was like, oh, I'm, it, can't, it comes out tonight, it comes out tonight. Like I was, I filmed a video when that came out and oh, I finally watched it like this weekend in my off time. Cause hello, I never have time. I'm either editing, filming or editing or filming. Like that, that's it. Like I, for the month of October, I haven't had time to do freaking anything. No fun, no going to the beach, no hanging out with anybody, skipping parties, skipping field trips, skipping everything. No sleep, bus. Club, another club, another club, plane, next place, no sleep, no fear, nobody believed in me. This is my number one priority, and guess what? Since it's my number one priority, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that post notifications button so you guys know when I upload my next video. And that would mean so, so much to me because we're almost over, guys. Like, this is our last, second to last look. Like, that is genuinely freaking crazy. All right, so now that we did that, we're gonna go ahead and do the little cheek. So I can't really talk while I'm doing this, so just follow my instructions. I'm just gonna do this side as well. So now you're probably thinking, Austin, why the hell are you covering up all of the sketches that you just did on your face? Well, because the sketches were there to like really give me a base of where everything's going. It's not really gonna matter as much as I cover it up because I'm filling in all the sketches. This is the white part of the face all done. Now we're actually gonna use a little bit of blue as our base line of contour. Now of course we're gonna go in with some blacks, navies, really dark colors to really, really, really get that contour up in there. But before we do that, we need to kind of lay down a base in order to like blend it out so it doesn't look so harsh. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna go into our little palette and I'm gonna go into our like most used shade to be honest and that's that light blue shade we've used for numerous looks. And I'm going to grab flat top brush that we've been using. This is the Morphe M410 brush. I was gonna dip into that and yeah. I'm very curious to know how you guys have been enjoying this series. I've gotten so many positive comments Oh, people are enjoying this series so, so much, and I've gotten a lot of comments saying how sad they are that it's gonna end very soon. Like, this is my second to last video. That's like, and I keep on saying that because I genuinely am shocked that, well, I, I, I was gonna say that we got here so fast, but it may feel really fast for you, but for me, that felt like an eternity. Like that, that's good for now. So, so now we're gonna fill in all of the skin tone parts with this blue color, and we'll be right back. All right, so that's the body. I mean, that's obviously not completed whatsoever, that's literally just a base. I mean, like, that looks pretty bad. So, now I'm gonna go ahead and just set my face in place. So I'm just gonna take some of my Magic Star Powder, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, in the shade Translucent. All right, so now that we have that, I'm actually just gonna go in with a little bit of gray in my face paint palette, and we're gonna start doing some details. Now, this is the part where we have to be very focused and serious. So I'm gonna zoom you in and let's start doing that. All right, so the first line we're gonna make is following this little line right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. Now on this very, very thin brush, I'm gonna take more of that gray and I'm gonna do some dots right under the eye. And this is like a very important part. So let's get focused. You have to focus, just focus, Bloom. <gasps> Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the little triangle right here and I'm just going to sketch that out. 
And I'm bringing that up into the brow ridge, which is a term that we learned last video. Make sure to go check out that one. That was amazing. It was my snake look. So I placed two dots up there, and that is going to be the high point of our eyebrow. So, we're going to draw a little, like, loop-de-loops, upside-down U's, diagonal U's. All the you yous, um, that we can have. Now I'm just gonna go into the black black, and I'm really just gonna deepen up right on the line to give that a dark shape. Since we aren't using any prosthetics, we want to give the effect a very deep eye crevice. Now you're going to take your brush and you're going to place a dot right on the nose like this. And then place up a dot pretty high up there. And that is going to be your nose line. Now we're going to give this White Walker a very witchy nose feel by elevating one of the nostrils. some of that black shadow right into my inner corner. Now it's time to go back in with that really skinny brush and I'm going to dip into some more black but the face paint version. So first we're going to do a line connected from the corner of our mouth straight down like this. Then we're just going to build off tons of little lines gonna give my face tons of dimension and it's just gonna make it look way cooler. So I've actually switched to this little black tip rounded brush and I'm actually gonna dip into a powder eyeshadow instead in order to do these lines because I think I'm just gonna have more control and like of course pigment. Now we're just gonna go ahead and surround all those dots with even more lines. All right so now we're gonna do some lines on the face. Now while I do this I just do want to talk a little bit about what a white walker is if you don't know what it is. So a White Walker is basically a sort of, is a monster or spirit in a way that comes out during the winter in Game of Thrones. Now, winters in Game of Thrones can last hundreds and hundreds of years. And they are very, very dangerous. And basically there's this like, like th thousands and thousand foot ice wall. And the White Walkers live north of the wall. Everybody thought that the White Walkers were dead and they were basically gone for good because they haven't been spotted in thousands and thousands of years. And if anything dies, it could be brought back as a White Walker. So you could kill a White Walker, nope, comes right back because if it's killed. So White Walkers are killing humans to turn them. So it's basically like an ice zombie, except you literally can't kill it unless you have dragon stone. It's like obsidian and that and another thing is the only way you could kill White Walkers. some black and I'm actually gonna make some triangles under my nose in order to extend the look of a, a very large nostril. Alright so now that you have all of that done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a very small brush again and I'm just going to connect the outer corner of my eye up with this rounded part up there. And I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And basically, what's going to happen is we're going to fill this entire eyelid in with black. Now I'm going to go into this little highlight brush and dip it to some white. And I'm really just going to press that in to all of the places, places of my face that have, that have any details. Now you're probably thinking, Austin, isn't this making all the details gray toned? And honestly, that's exactly what you want. You don't want it to be piercing black because we are about to go in with a liner 
to really add all of these details back in. So you want to make sure that these ones are muted so they can act as a shadow to the main... Oh. Don't you love when an entire shadow falls out and then breaks on your ground because you try to pick it up? Same. You dirty, low-down dog. All right, it is detail time. So I'm going to take this little, very thin liner brush and dip into some of this black face paint. Now, this is going to be extremely tedious, so let's just get straight into it. So I'm just gonna line and go all the little small details on my face. I'm just gonna grab this mirror and bring it very close to my face and just really go to town with these details. So that is all the shading done and all the little details. So now I'm gonna go in with this little brush and I'm gonna dip into some white and I'm gonna surround all those black lines to really highlight them. So I just went ahead and put some white on my lips and now I'm gonna dip into this light blue and dark blue shade and I'm just gonna place that right in the center of my lips. Now taking some black, I'm just gonna add some lines and some of those dots that we had before. All right, that is the face mostly complete. I just have to add a couple little things, but those are like minor details that we're gonna do closer to the end. Now it's time to work on the body. So, I'm actually gonna do a voiceover on this because I really need to focus on this part, so. All right, so basically I just took my little NYX uh, eyeliner stick and I just dragged up that black color all the way up. I made tons of little like U's and dots, but I just started to blend them up just to give that like depth look within. So that really just helped me add like dimension between my neck. I also added tons of these little lines to make it look like bones. And I did a little triangle closer to like the inner portion of my chest just really blending it, and I took some blue and I actually placed it on the outer ends of my elbows and just chest to really make it look more like contoured, and that really just helped it look. So, bye! All right, you guys, that's the finished White Walker makeup look all complete. I think it's turned out absolutely insane. The contacts look amazing, the skin looks amazing, the shading, the details, the hair, really just everything turned out absolutely insane. But this isn't the last video. Make sure to tune in on that one. That one will be October 31st, and it's going to be a wild one. All right. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that post notifications button so you guys know when I upload my next video. You guys can also follow me on all my other social media links, which are just Austin underscore interviews. All right, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this White Walker look from Game of Thrones, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!